I know none of you know me, so you probably have personal questions you'd love to ask. Let me just go ahead and answer your first one. Yes, I have been to jail. I was uh, 18 years old. I was young and rebellious. I was arrested. Now here's what happens when you get arrested in the South, in Louisiana, where I grew up. They give you a full body cavity search. Have you ever had one of those? If you haven't, I highly recommend it. You learn a lot about yourself. What they do is they strip you down to your bare ass, then they hose you down. Now I know that sounds refreshing, but it's not. And <laughs> then they say, bend over and spread your ass cheeks, right? And I ask, now just what exactly are you looking for? Just out of curiosity. And I'll never forget this fucking cop. He says, I have to make sure you don't have a gun. <laughs> just let think about that for a second. Gun is what he said. He could have said weapon. He could have said drugs. He could have said poop. He could have said that. He could have said, I have to make sure you're not going to shit everywhere once we lock you down. No, he said gun, which prompted me to ask, where? Up my ass? In my asshole? Sir, if I have a handgun in my asshole, what are you going to do? What can you do? Call a doctor, that's it. Clearly, I'm the victim of some strange fucking crime. <laughs> I, pardon me, officer. I'm only assuming that you're talking about a handgun. Do you maybe think that I have a rifle up my ass? Because then I have a better question. If I could get a fully assembled rifle up my ass, why would you think that a jail cell could contain me? Clearly, I'm the baddest dude ever. I could just fit random objects up my ass regardless of shape or size. Put me in that jail cell. I want to go because I'll just start putting pieces of it up my ass until there's a hole and then bam, I'm out of there. No evidence. You can't stop me. I am Dr. Cavernous asshole. I have a rocket launcher up my ass right now. Nope, puppies, 12 puppies. All trained to defend me. The fuck you gonna do, copper? Kill a puppy? I wouldn't even do that. I'm the bad guy in this scenario. So I beat the charges on insanity plea. You know, I'm older than you guys probably think I am. 47. 47 years old. Fuck you, I'm not 47. <laughs> I'm 31, and I have a younger cousin. He's 21, 10 years younger than me. One night, we went out drinking at a bar, and before we get there, he says, I hope you can hang out all night, Gramps. What a fucking dipshit, huh? <laughs> Fuck that kid. I mean, I, I, of course I can hang. I can party. I can out, I'll say this to anyone in their 20s. I can out party anyone in their early 20s because I know what I'm doing. It's a craft and I have honed it. Have you seen people in their early 20s partying? They look like fucking idiots. Amateurs. Just go right to the bar. Beer, shot, beer, shot. I can do this all night on the credit card my parents still pay for. Beer, shot, beer, shot. Oh, hi, stranger. What's that? A random pill. Go, yummy. Thank you. More beers and more shots. Ooh, smoke the weed now, because that's crazy and insane. And we're so young. Woo! Shitty food. Ugly person. Awful. Terrible sex. Terrible sex. Vomiting all night. Headache. I don't remember. That's not partying at all. <laughs> I believe that's actually called giving natural selection a better shot. I'm 31. I know what I'm doing. I roll up in a bar. I order a beer. I say, put it in a brandy snifter. Looks classy. <laughs> Someone offers me a shot, I say, no thanks. In about 15 minutes, my friend's gonna show up with some cocaine, gonna do that instead. <laughs> if my friend says, let's go smoke weed, I say, no thanks, because there's a table of 21-year-old girls sitting there, and I'm gonna go sit with them and tell them lies. 
And not 21-year-old boy lies. Oh, no. 31-year-old man lies. <laughs> lies that have been tested and workshopped and rewritten and sprinkled with truth and wisdom. 